Today I've been incredibly lucky to get the new beta of Replit and for a change the teachers are ahead of the students. So we actually know what cheats you guys are going to be able to pull in the future, which is fantastic. And it seems it's going to save me a lot of planning. So let's have a little play and see what we can do with this. <clears throat> right, make some code for me. Mm. Let's start with a basic one, a bubble sort. Whoa, uh, that's uh, quicker than you can actually use to sort a bubble sort. Wow, that's, that's quick. Let's give it a little test. Perfect code, perfect code. I couldn't ask for better. Full marks to our AI on that one. Right, well, let's uh, do an insertion sort then, since we've done a bubble sort. Neither of these two are particularly efficient, but they are classics when teaching code. Oh, lovely, absolutely beautiful. Couldn't ask for a better one there, nice, clean. Simple. I have sped these all up. Each of these takes about 20 seconds. Now for my next one, I'm not just going to give it an algorithm name, which it seems to be able to search up real quick. I'm going to ask it to do something that students are asked to do quite frequently, but it hasn't got an algorithm name. Let's see. Oh, right. Really good, that. Really. Yep, straight away managed to work that out. Fantastic. The next one, I'm going to choose something that Python isn't really meant to do, doesn't really need to do because it's a list, but it gets asked for a lot for students. So let's see if this will actually do it well. Let's try another one. Let's try a circular queue this time. Let's see what it does with that. Oh, very nice. Very nice. Very clean. Very clean. Even gives an example of using it. Oh, that, that, that's really good code. I think I'll keep that. Very good indeed. Okay, let's do something a little off the thing. Let's create an object. Uh, let's not really say, let's create a wizard object. Oh, whoa, it even knows it's Merlin. That is absolutely fantastic. So again, I guess that's another common one that students do. Brilliant, brilliant. Absolutely fantastic that it can generate that so quickly. Uh, it looks a lot like my code too, so I don't know if it has any influence on existing replics and so on. I've had a request in. Let's see. This was the nightmare of IGCSE, but let's see if Replit can do it without any hassle. Create a cow milking program. A bit of an in-joke this, but uh, let's see what the old Replit makes of this. Um, we're not giving it any real good hints here either, so let's see what it does. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's had a real good attempt at that. I, I'm, I'm really quite impressed. Love the cow names as well. This, this AI seems to have an awful lot of data to have a go at. Fantastic. <laughs> Love it. It's even got quantities as well. It, it's pretty similar to the IGCSE and yet different. So I wonder where that's coming from and how it put that together. Fantastic. Okay, let's uh, add a little colour to this. Let's create something uh, hypnotic maybe. Let's see what it'll do with this because this one's really strange. Oops. Okay, try something a little bit different. Uh, pretty picture, yeah? Go with the classic. Somebody's beginning the code might ask for it. Okay, let's let's see what he just draws. Okay. Oh, big excitement here. Oh, yeah, it's pretty, but it's a bit grey. Uh, yeah, okay, I'll, I'll give it that one. Uh, so this time I'm going to specify that it's got to be a colourful picture. Um, you know, see what he does with that. Yeah, I agree, that looks good. Yeah, I like that. that nice set of circles, that, that's really nice. Okay, um, let's see, uh, let's draw a house. Okay, not just a simple shape, a house. Oh, oopsie. Okay, that one, that one didn't do nothing, so uh, we'll see how it goes. Um, what about creating something to auto-tweet? I mean, that's must be fairly common on Replit. Now, please remember, don't make sure you use your hacker package and don't publish your uh, codes and your tokens. Um, this is definitely one you want to keep private. Obviously there's no token in there, I'm not going to put a token in. But impressive that it gives you the idea and actually having the TweetPy library is, is really handy and it does take a little while to install uh, if you're using a standard package but TweetPy does work straight out of Replit but as I say please make sure you do a private package. Well thank you very much for watching me today play with these tools. It's been fantastic fun. And I think it really does give students, people who are starting to code, a lot of 
genuine opportunities to program and to get started and make sure they don't have to face a blank page. So keep up the fantastic work, Replit.